Hey friend, Chris Vandeviver here with Logic Pro Expert. Today I wanna to share with you a key command that is an oldie but a goodie. And the reason I say it's an oldie is because for those of us who have been using Logic since before 10, will probably know what I'm gonna show you. This key command used to be featured in all sorts of menus in Logic, but for some reason it's no longer featured and it's such a helpful key command. Now let me ask you if you can identify with this situation. You start to bounce your track or you start to freeze all the tracks in your session and Logic starts the process and it's taking forever and you just get kind of tired of waiting or maybe you realize kind of halfway through, oh man, there was something about that track that I needed to fix, but now you have to wait until the entire procedure is completed before you can go back and fix things and then refreeze, rebounce. But is that truly the case? And it turns out that there's a key command that can get you out of these long, sticky situations just eject you right out of those procedures, stop them dead in their tracks so you don't have to wait for an entire bounce, an entire freeze, an entire export. If we take a quick look at the key commands menu, and I'm gonna have the press tab enabled, I'm gonna hold command period, and we can see that this key command has a global command attached to it, but it says discard recording and return to last play position. So apparently this is what command and period is best known for now in Logic Pro 10. So let's go down here to the bottom of my session and I'm just gonna hit record, solo. I'm gonna start recording this track and let me make sure that the click is off. Okay, we're recording and I'm gonna hold command and press period. And just like that, the recording is stopped. Playhead returns to its original position. That's pretty handy. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'll get rid of these and I'm just gonna select every track in my session. I'm gonna press the freeze button for everything and hit spacebar to begin the freeze process. Logic's gonna take a second. And now Logic is in the process of freezing my tracks. So let's assume halfway through, man, this is not at all what I wanted to do. Once again, command period. Logic once again is gonna take a minute to kind of figure itself out. But now the process of freezing has been stopped and the playhead returns to its position from here I'm gonna set my cycle range, go to bounce dialog, and I'm gonna bounce out this track and we'll just hit begin. Okay, once again, we're bouncing and oh man, I forgot that one shaker track doesn't have the canyon of reverb that I intended for it. I wish I didn't have to wait through this entire bounce to go back and fix that. Well, once again, command period, we stop the bounce dialog, perfect. Last example, go to export. We're gonna export all these tracks. Once again, Logic's gotta kind of figure itself out. We've begun exporting our tracks, but again, I've decided I don't want to wait through all this or there's something I got to go back and fix. Command period. And we stop the export process. This key command, command period, may not come into use all of the time, but this key command can be really helpful for those of us who are running Mac systems that maybe aren't the best. You know, we didn't buy the best processors, the most amount of memory you can get, you know, an SSD drive. So we're running on some systems that are kind of slow and sometimes waiting through these long periods of processing or procedures kind of is a drag. So I'd be sure to commit this key command to memory just so you can get out of those situations where you're stuck waiting for long periods of time. Once again, I'm Chris Vandeviver with Logic Pro Expert.